What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by iSkySoft. They make this awesome PDF editor. Now, as you guys know from the last video, I did go ahead and just review this, but today we're gonna be talking about things on the more business end of things. So as you guys can see, I have an official DMV bill of sale form. So I'm actually gonna go and download this right now and we're gonna import it into the PDF editor. So I'm gonna go and jump into where I just downloaded it. Downloads and drag and drop directly into here and it should open up in just a second okay so that took around two seconds now here's all the cool things you can do with this bill of sale so first of all it's going to be a little tricky to edit this so i thought you know what why not turn this into maybe an ocr document so i can just go and edit some of the text in case i want to do that all right, so unlike last time, there are no spelling mistakes and it did a really, really good job converting everything. You might wanna double check just in case it is software in the end, but it seems overall pretty solid. So of course, I don't really need to change too, too much, but now I'm gonna go and maybe add in some text. So I'm gonna jump into edit and we're gonna add some text right here. So in this case, name, we're just gonna put smart tech. Okay. And then of course, maybe your model of the car, Toyota. And just like that, it's super, super easy to add text all over the place. So that's something that you might have to do as well. Now, next off is of course the main section. So your form and protection. Inside a form, you can actually go and edit this PDF form. You can actually go and have a form field recognition. This operation cannot be undone. Yes, I want to go and do that. So here are some spots that it found that it thinks that you should fill in certain information so you can go and directly click on that and just like that you'll be able to add in information without ever having to go and add text every single time maybe make a whole new section and then of course add that text save it over and over and over this is just a little bit more convenient it's not 100 percent perfect but you know what it is there so next off there's data extraction so if you want to extract data from certain form fields and turn them into a c SV file you can do that as well now this is mostly for maybe graphs and things and of course large pools of data you want to maybe convert into Excel in this case it's not too too relevant but just know that you can do that should you need to do so but the main option you'll be dealing with is probably this add text box so you can add all of these over and over so we're gonna need to go and add one of those into each of these sections into the style of your vehicle into the name section maybe the city all of that needs to be added and now these are all form fields so all you have to do is go and simply edit the text Text and you're pretty much set to go. There are a few other options. For example, you can add a radio button. There's the option to add a combo box. You can add a list box. Then of course there is the push button. And finally, you can add a digital signature. Now the main thing you guys are gonna be dealing with is of course the way to add a signature. So to do that, simply hit this little button right here. Simply mark where you want the signature. It'll automatically decide that there's a line there. And just double click on this if you're the person who's supposed to be signing this. And just sign it just like that and hit close and just like that it will now go and save the signed version of this document and after you hit save it will get rid of the signature itself so i'm going to hit cancel and just like that you are set to go now you can probably go and play around with the font of that but that is a full-on signature and the convenience of this is that you can keep that box there and not even touch it and the next person who opens up this pdf will know exactly where to go and sign this document you can go and clear import export and even add from a template if you wish to do that as well they do have a few templates right here so you can download these there's a job application a resume job certificate um, there's a verification letter. So there's a variety of these in case you need those as well. So you know what? Their PDF editor doesn't just come with the software itself, but you can go and download mortgage forms as well. And they are entirely free on this end. Now, with that said, we're going to jump into one last section. And this is the option of protection. You can actually mark this for redaction. So if you need something that needs to be redacted, this is the ultimate way to go and do that. But you can actually search and redact as well. I'm going to hit this and mark for redact permanently blackout se uh, selected sensitive text and images. If you guys didn't know what redaction meant in this case. So I'm going to hit OK. And just like that, maybe I want this particular section to just disappear. And of course, now, whenever someone goes over that, you won't be able to tweak or see any of what's going on right there. If you want ultimate protection, of course, there is the option to encrypt and password protect your PDF document. So I'm, I'm actually going to require a password to open this document. And that password is going to be smart tech. So you guys all know that. But 
you know what anyone else won't know that so we're pretty much set to go but there's permissions as well so require a password to change security settings and get access to specific functions if you wish to do that then you can set a password like that as well i'm gonna hit cancel for now but just know that there is an option to do that the last option is to digitally sign the document so i showed you guys how to add a sign here section now we need to use that sign here section now as you guys can see i want to sign this document using my existing digital id from a file however I don't really have that so i'm going to create a new one and as you can see this creates a password protected digital id or you can get one from the windows certificate store finally you need to add a name smart and you need to add an email address at and finally you don't have to add your country but we're just going to put it in why not latin america next password password finish Oops, it needs to be six. Okay. And now I can create my digital signature. How cool is that? And every single time you need to sign a document, you simply jump into this and you can use this particular style. You can create a new style here as well. So if you want your title to look like a certain way, if you want a certain graphic, um, maybe a certain name, configured text with your name, location, distinguished name, and of course, which way the letters face, there are a variety of options. I'm sure you guys can play around with this as well. And finally, you can lock the document after signing. Hit sign, a password is required. So I'm just gonna go and add that. But yeah, you guys get the point. Simply go and 